Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Around the Bend Throw, which is the blanket that you see here in the picture. I also have a sample of it here. Uh, the blanket is worked in 20 separate squares that are simply the moss stitch worked in a round. Now, once you're finished the 20 squares, you're going to join them together, and then I've added a simple half double crochet edging to the blanket. So this is a very simple pattern if you are a beginner or just looking for something uh, that is sort of mindless that you can work on the go. This is a great project for you. This is the Around the Bend Throw. Now, I have used seven Karen Cotton Cakes. The Karen Cotton Cakes are a worsted weight self uh, striping yarn and each one has about 530 yards um, so uh, you're going to need seven of these Karen cotton cakes or a worsted weight uh, yarn and uh, any color of your choice. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle for weaving in your ends, and of course a pair of scissors. The free written pattern can be found for, on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll have the direct link there for you in the notes of this video. So thank you so much once again for joining me and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns as well as stitch tutorials. It's always a lot of fun and I'm so happy that you have decided to join me. So grab a hook and some yarn and uh, let's get started. So to begin the pattern, we're going to start by making our squares and each of these squares measures approximately 12 by 12 inches. And again, it's simply the moss stitch worked in a round. To begin my square, what I did was I made a magic ring. Now, if you would like, you may also chain four and join in the first stitch with a slip stitch to form a ring, okay? So you can either work a magic ring or chain four and join in that first stitch with your slip stitch. Once you have made your ring for round one, you are going to chain one, single crochet into the ring. chain two, single crochet into the ring, and chain one. You're going to now repeat that twice more. So single crochet into the ring, chain two, single crochet, chain one, and repeat single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one. You're going to uh, continue on working a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and chain one. Once you have four chain two spaces, you're going to end with that chain one and you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet and then slip stitch once again into the chain two space. Chain one and you're ready to begin round two. Now if you have started with a magic ring you can then tighten your ring if you would like and then even weave in that end. For round two, you are going to single crochet in the, to the chain two space, chain two, and single crochet again into that chain two space. Next, you're going to chain one, skip the next single crochet, and in that chain one space, work another single crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and in your chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. So chain one, skip the next stitch, 
single crochet into the chain one space, chain one, skip the next stitch, and then into the chain two space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, skip the next stitch, and then in your chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, and then you'll be back at your, your first single crochet stitch there, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that stitch. slip stitch into your chain two space, chain one, and you're ready to begin round three. Now round three, you're going to simply continue a sort of working that pattern. So in every chain two space, you're going to work your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're going to chain one, skip every stitch, every single crochet and then single crochet into those chain one spaces. So uh, for your round three, single crochet in the chain two space, chain two, single crochet once again, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next chain one, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next space, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in that corner. Continue that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 16 single crochet stitches. From now on, once you hit the end of that round, let me see here. There we go. From now on, for rounds four through to 27, you're simply going to be repeating that pattern of what we've been working. And your rounds are going to increase uh, in stitches by multiples of four. So your next round will have 20 stitches, and then 24, 28, and so forth. You're going to continue working rounds until you have 27 rounds, or your squares work approximately 12 inches. Now, what is fun with working in a round from the center out, uh, you can make your squares any size you would like, uh, and uh, really change the look of your blanket. Someone had asked about a baby blanket. If you're going to make the squares 12 by 12, I'd recommend probably doing uh, th nine squares in total so that your blanket is about 36 inches by 36. Now, if you are going to continue uh, the way I have written the pattern, you're going to make 20 of these 12 by 12 squares and uh, then join them all together, which I'll show you in just a moment, and then add a simple edging. So go ahead, make 20 of these moss stitch in around squares, and then meet me back here, and I will show you how to join your squares together and work a simple half double crochet edging. Okay, so now you will have worked 20 squares that are quite a bit bigger than the one that I've worked here. This is just a sample that I'm going to use to show you uh, how to sew uh, or crochet your squares together. Uh, so you will have 20 squares that are about 12 by 12 inches, 26 or 27 rounds of moss stitch worked. Okay, uh, but again, the fun thing about this pattern is that you can make your squares whatever size you would like to make them. So now it's going to come time to uh, 
crochet your squares together you've woven in all of your ends and uh, now we're going to put them together what you're going to do is your squares will have like a right side and a wrong side you're going to lay them flat with the wrong sides facing up and then depending on what row you're working and which direction you like to work in uh, you're going to turn it so that um, you will start uh, at one end uh, and on mine it's going to be the right side so the right corner you're going to start by joining your yarn with a slip stitch just into that chain two space like so and now you're going to work through both thicknesses of your squares and you're going to be working in the back loops only or in the the front loops only I guess the loops that are closest to you but they're going to be the back loops of your fabric so working in these front loops you're going to insert your stitch your hook under that first front loop and under the front loop of the corresponding stitch on the other side so it's going to be uh, the uh, second stitch there in my chain two okay you're then going to yarn over and just work a slip stitch you're going to continue that all the way across always working in these front loops so insert your hook under that front loop and then the corresponding one on the next one and work a slip stitch continue that all the way across for all every stitch and every chain stitch your front loops only and as you come to the end of each block you're simply going to continue on just by adding another block uh, beside it until you have the desired number of squares in your row so my blanket was four squares along the ends by five squares along the side that's how I did my blanket so you're going to just continue joining in these two front loops all the way across and then as you reach the end just pick up two more squares and continue working along once you have uh, that those rows done so say you're working all of your horizontal rows once you're done all of those rows you're going to come back and you're going to do the same thing for the vertical rows okay so continue to do that all the way across until all of your squares are joined when you come to the end of your rows you can just fasten off with a slip stitch and then weave in those ends when you are finished you will have a front that looks like this and then this is what your back will look like so there is a little bit of a ridge there are different ways of joining uh, and you can certainly find some other videos there on YouTube this is uh, just the uh, way that I like to join my squares okay so once you're done that come on back here and I'll show you how to work a simple half double crochet edging okay now once you have all of your squares joined together and again uh, the pattern that I worked called for a throw that was a four by five squares so 20 squares all together uh, the total blanket measures uh, about 49 inches by 61 inches once you have your border worked uh, all the way around okay so once you have your squares joined together you're going to want to work just a simple edging which I found kind of complemented the uh, moss stitch worked in a round so to work my edging I inserted my hook through that chain two space there up at the top and I joined my yarn with a slip stitch I then worked uh, in that corner stitch a half double crochet stitch and then in each stitch and in each chain space all the way across I continue to work half double crochet stitches so work one half double crochet stitch 
and each stitch and each chain st stitch all the way across. Of course, yours will take a little bit longer. <laughs> Once you come to your corner stitches, you are going to work three half double crochet stitches in each corner. And that's going to bring you around to the next side, and then you're going to continue working a half double crochet stitch in each stitch and each chain space all the way around. And that's all I did for working the edging of this blanket. I found it just really complemented the moss stitch and uh, kept it simple and uh, had a nice finish to this blanket. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the Around the Bend throw. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again. Happy crocheting. Bye.